They've got right. it decided. Let's see which one it is. Oh, An Alchemist. What? So they want to be able to have that backup plan, at least, it seems like. Yeah. For Liquid not wanting to go all, all completely all in. It's the amount of farm is a bit lacking. Ninja Boogie, this is a full gank that they're setting up in the mid lane. It looks like they are going to go for the dive onto mid lane. Oh, that's and an Reaper Scythe is going to be dropped. There it goes. Your first blood comes at level six. Nana or Moon managed to pick up the last hit on that one thanks to the Reaper Scythe. Gets the full heal out as well. I'm always surprised as the Alk die in the early game. As once again, Matama Man at bottom. I they, think they might just go for this dive. Yeah, he used kills. the Gale on the Broodlings. That no is an TP. opening for Ice 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 to go for this kill with the help of Ninja Boogie. They don't quite trap him in the trees, but they will still be able to run him down pretty easily. And that that is another thing, right? Is Liquid do not have very good responding heroes, right? Chen is in a natural TP rotation hero. But laning phase-wise, which we've seen a lot of the scenes prioritized so far, definitely in favor right now of Mineski. Looking at Miracle, he already has his ultimate up though, but maybe, just maybe they can bring him down. No Reaper Scythe up, Ninja Boogie with the double damage, trying to run him down. He's got ulti. Yeah, he's got it now, they're going to be able to bam. Miracle's dead again. 3-0 from Mineski already, but they are going to be able to get the slow. On the moon, with the Pugna coming in, that's going to be a lot of damage that Necrophos just can't stop. Nada is definitely dead, as he's going to be stunned up here and run down with a combination of both Matumba Man and Mind Control, neither of which had their level six. Looks like that kill will get Mind Control to suck us up. With just the added timer alone, that's gotta be so depressing. Yeah. You're in a game, you've essentially played six out of the seven minutes. But he's now he's now level six, level seven area. That's when you can start going toe to toe against the Brood Mother. Mid lane, going for Nana, trying to finish oh, him off. Will manage to win him with the Pugna, GH. Looks to chase out Ninja Boogie while they get free damage on that mid tower. It is getting quite low, 165 HP. We talked about how important it is in general. Mushi feels like he can't die, so he repeatedly steps out of the line. Habitual line stepper. I, I love the fact that Dusa is able to do this, though, as a hero. Matumba Band's going to be sent back. Well, it looks like Mind Control was able to get the kill on Moon top lane. What is going on? Dyer's bottom tower Should go for a Roshan pretty soon as well. They want to be able to protect this top area so that Ice Ice can go for it if he Roll wants. Roll in, top lane. Looks like they are going to be able to get the stun slow down with the Gale. Mushi unable to get off the ultimate. That's he a just lot lost of damage. too much mana too quickly. But Tom Man's going to be caught underneath the tower and he's going to be Reaper's side down. A full heal out for the Necrophos. Oh, Kuro goes down too. Liquid full retreat mode right now. Mind Control might just get caught out though. Here comes the fly. Flying over the trees. He's going to be able to catch Mind Control. Silence first. Now the slow down of the void. Long enough for Moon to be able to catch up. Turns around, Blast goes for the Zuck, right, but there is the cast to be able to stop that one, so they'll be able to catch the kill eventually. Not giving it to Necropos. Ninja Boogie will take that kill, five to six. It's a big win for Mineski. Yes, but during that time again, we talk about it, the Alk continuing to farm. The good news for Mineski is that they didn't have to five full man for that. They still had the Brood farming on the other side of the map. Ninja Boogie gets caught deep into the off-lane jungle area. Still a very close game. Maneski making this one a dogfight. Yeah, I mean, Alchemist being the top of the net worth, I mean, that's that's whatever. That happens all day, right? But for me, the big concerning thing is that the three other heroes of Maneski are still beating out both the Pugna and the Venomancer. Venomancer by a long shot, too. Yeah, he's going to go down once again. Gets Necker ulted, so he's down for almost a minute. Because she's similar to Ursa in the sense that she needs that Aegis to be able to play these fights. And that's why Mineski, they're going to full form fight for this. They're going to try, but the Pugnum Ward's already up. They've and got Roshan a nice surrounding low. defense force, and Roshan is going to go oh, down. But the initiation already up. They're going to be able to bring down the Venom. It's a Reaper Sight, not quite enough, but a beautiful oh. cast locked in between the two. They're going to finish off the Alchemist, take away that Aegis. Now go for Mind Control in the back line, but Mind Control's too strong. He managed to finish off Ice 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 with a suck. Now Moon going for GH. If he can get this kill, it'll be huge for his survivability, but he can't quite get it. GH a little bit too far away. Ninja Booker's going to get at him. And they do have the Shrine up, so they are going to be able to back up defensively. That was not bad for Mineski whatsoever, instead of just a, a stepping stone for Miracle. Nah, dude. Life's hard. <laughs> Life's tough for all of us, man. <laughs> Safe lane carries have it rough. Miracle's going to be gone on in the mid lane. It's going to take a lot to bring him down. The Reaper Sight is just enough. So GH with its roll in is going to be completely ineffective. Oh, oh, look oh at that, that brood. And Brood Mother. She gobbles up that Earth Spirit, and they're going to go straight for mid. He just kicks people in. 
He stones him and just kicks him in. Okay. That's your counter. That's how you win this game. Ah, oh, mind control messed up. <laughs> He so bought his own eggs. I was expecting a whole lot more out of that. Nah, dude. It doesn't get crazier than that. All right. Alchemist is going to be slowed down a little bit. Oh, the rest of his so team dead. is coming in. They're going to try and save him. Mind Control healed him up quite a bit, so the Reaper Scythe is just not going to be enough. But Broodmother's damage is more than enough. They're going to be able to get the Earth Spirit, too. Now it's a grab all. What more can they get? Ninja Boogie going to slow down the Chen. Stop the Silencer from casting any slows. But uh, his team not going to be able to keep up with him. It's pretty much just the Alchemist show right now, like uh, for Liquid. They just kind of have to wait until Alchemist can start giving them some net worth. Dude, that's the hope. That's the dream right now. <laughs> like, guys, I, you might think that I only have 8k net worth TP, of Venom. TP, not going to make it. That's a good kill, and that's an important one just because this Roshan is up, and now Liquid, they've got to be decisive. You have to go in for this and commit, because in a full 5v5, you lose that fight quite badly. Man, it's not like the Night Stalker is a huge boon to Mineski, but I, I think this is the only advantage that Liquid are yes. ever going to be able to and find. And Mineski, I think they still want to take this fight. Yeah, absolutely. Stunned up. They're going to pop the ultimate now. There we go. There goes the Manta, and he's going to go straight for the back line, going for the Witch Rock to the easy kill. Reaper Scythe is going to hold him in with damage. It's just not enough for the Broodmother yet, but it will finish off eventually. Now the oh, yeah, this bit of damage from the Earth Spirit. They're trying to finish off Roshan still, but uh, stuck inside the pit. Pugna's going to end up going down. Witch Doctor throwing out the oh, ultimate. It's not going to do a whole lot. A great ultimate from Matumba Man, but can they actually kite these heroes around well enough? They Mind are Control getting staying low. alive inside that pit. Roshan trying to beat him to death, but oh, it's just not going to happen. Necrophone's going so for it. Mind Control's still going for that Dusa. Oh he's slowing him down Lord. even he's more. Got Somebody needs to save this Dusa. He's going to go down. He ends up dropping. Ice 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 comes back into it after a buyback, but he may not be able to catch these heroes. They send back Mind Control. Matumba Man slows and gales him away. And Liquid, they get out. He's going to go back in there. Oh, that's if Ice 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 doesn't finish off first. They're trying to zone out the rest of Liquid, they but they still have the numbers this. advantage. And the buyback is going to allow Ice 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 to get that Aegis. And if they can find the kill in that like one to two minute timer they got between the Aegis being away and the buyback still being off cooldown. Yeah, and right now mid, Nana is invised up. They wanted to do the Reaper ultimate Reaper's side just to hold him, but they do have a mind control up in the top lane, trying to get the heal out. Miracle trying to dodge a little bit with that Manta, but it's just too much damage, it looks like. Matamba Man trying to run interference. Oh, the, the heals from mind control, going. just not enough. Mind control on the top lane is not going to be enough heals. Miracle. He's down, and the rest of Liquid, I can't even believe they're even thinking about turning on this. They're trying to focus on the Necropost. He has to get out real quick. Good four staff gets him out of range of that one. And Mind Control is just a real damage dealer right now. Matumba Man slows down the Venom Man, or uh, the Broodmother even more, looking to be able to pop that Aegis. Ninja Boogie oh, comes girl, back in, goes to the Chen. Way too far out, but Mind Control is getting some of the supports. Little bit of suck there on the jabs. They have a buyback on both Miracle. They don't have stuns. Their gap closing is really bad. Like, who gap closes on this team? Nobody. Like, uh, the they kind of run in. It's yeah, Night Stalker, four staff Necro in. Oh, and this fight oh, outside the base. Another BKB got to be blown. Liquid. Liquid, they want to take this fight Man. with a BKB down. They're angling forward right now, feeling very confident, even at nighttime. Ice, 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 away to the trees, but now they're actually going to try and cut Liquid in half with Mushi going in with the ultimate, forcing some of the win, but they're not really getting enough, and Ice, ice, ice is still having trouble with that Alchemist, but is going to be able to oh, get some control. healing back in his now. The ultimate goes off, my control, finish off jabs. Now the rest of the Liquid is here to be they able don't to have save Miracle's Liquid's going to take this. Sun come up and Brood Mother, he's down! Moon, BKB, four staff for the cliff, he's got to be able to get away as well. Earth Spirit trying to chase out that Dusa, four staff for the Centaur just to see if they can catch him. Oh, but they missed the kick. A jump forward. Oh, they're still going to be able to get Moon, though. Matumba Man's trying to run him down. Looks like the Dusa was able to get away, but Broodmother down for 100 seconds. If they can get this Necrophos as well, which they will, caught him out with a stun. Miracle is just too damn fast. And they don't have any buyback on that Brood either, and we see that the lack of lockdown just biting them in the asses. They can't hold anybody down. And we talked about how it was going to be a little bit hard for that Necro to be able to kill this Alk later on with that regen. Are they going to go for more? 15 seconds, they'd be really pushing it if they went for another one. I think they've got time. I think they should be able to feel that they can't really die in these engagements anymore. Miracle, with his travel boots, can very safely do this. And now Maneski has to respond. It's do or die time. Do you deal with this Alchemist? Or do you just Ooh, commit for this Gale. They're going to go from a top of man with a scythe of ice. A defensive force oh, gives him some distance, but it's not going to be enough. A BKB popped. Another force step, but he doesn't get over the cliff. Oh, he's getting he does manage to get off his ultimate, and there goes the Reaper's scythe to hold him oh, a little bit longer. Alive. They finally finish him off, and it looks like Jabs and Mushi are enough to force him back. But Miracle did not TP into that fight. He kept up the push in bottom lane. 
you knew that was going to be a nasty engagement. So Liquid have the time now to be able to go for this Roshan while these heroes work themselves from bottom all the way oh, to the nasty. top lane, but it's just too fast. They're going to give both the Aegis and Cheese. They're still going to try and force this fight, though. Not a stun. They're going to be able to get Reaper Scythe off GH at a full health. That does nothing. BKB pop by Moon. They do manage to get the stun on so many heroes with the Zeus ultimate, but it just doesn't do a damn thing because they don't have any damage. Now Miracle, large and in charge with a BKB popped, is running down heroes. Unstable Concoction. Looks like he's going to go for the easy one first on Ninja Boogie, leaving Matumba Man to try and slow down Mushi. Does successfully get the Kale. Here comes High Size Size. They get back into it with the Scythe of Ice. Miracle, low on mana, but does have the Chemical Rage out. Your damage? Instead, goes for Curl in the back lines. Matumba Man managed to pop his BKB. Oh, but High Size Size gets stunned up, but it's just too much. Mind Control and finish him off two minutes down. Mushi's almost dead. Liquid are running over Mineski in a game that I thought was surely theirs. But Liquid, they made the comeback. Triple kill for Miracle. Three heroes down with no buyback. This surely is the end. Yeah, and Mineski right now, they're going to take a second to assess just what the hell happened. Oh, GG is called as Liquid. They just scrap it out. I mean, this wasn't the prettiest win, but... It's got to feel damn good being able to come back in a fashion like this. They both harass out pretty well. Like, they're both pretty strong, clear-cut fours. So who's going to be the five? It's going to be Ninja Boogie. He's been relegated. <laughs> yeah. As as he's been pretty much this whole entire time. Mushi. Oh, Nick, he doesn't have mana shield. He's quite dead. Yeah, he is. He's done so. There's Good nobody five. who can rotate and help him. As uh, we do have Ninja Boogie deep in there. And Miracle. Just going to get helped out mid. Doing very well for himself. But at the same time, very similar. Eerily similar to last game. Although Miracle is on top. The other three cores. Oh, no. Ooh. How did this kill happen? Liquid Ninja managed Boogie's to kill die too. Moon. Ninja Boogie's not going to be able to make it out, but he might be able to get a kill on Curl. Almost. The sun comes first. Oh, my control. Barely avoids that right click. Oh, you thought he was going to get it? I really... Curl's, Curl's like, nah, man. You got to get it, man. Stand here in the face of death. Mushi being run down again, and this time around, his Monkey King wasn't this set up is in a, a trade to be spend. able to jump down. My goodness, Mushi. He's going to get run down by Miracle pretty easily, but they can get a turnaround kill here. Oh, the double stun happens too. Down. Now they're, he they're through. No! Jabs didn't get the right click. Oh, no. Oh, dang. <laughs> that sucks. Steve, you got he no can deal with the Enchantress, but... It's quickly shoved out. Ninja Boogie and Jabs made a smoke rotation up to that top lane. Not going to be able to find the Oh, kill, in mid. But, oh, a Mushi, huge not sandwich. again, but goodness gracious, he's not making it out of this one. Jabs, don't even try, dude. He's dead. Jabs comes in. He curl. going for oh, curl or got a stun in one. Oh, no. He's going to get stunned up and brought down unless he can into Is the trees. He? Duke it out a little bit. Don't get seen. Turn oh, into a tree. My. Jump into the trees. And Jabs. No, oh, no, they got the right one. What a call for Miracle. That was so well done, but still goes down. And this Medusa G8 just having the absolute over. worst of it. He's going to be able to get some heals. He's okay. Do they still want to go for this? Mushi's still trying to get the snake out. Miracle but still Miracle, has a stun up. Yeah, he's still got the damage out. He's going to be able to get some, but uh, Mushi's a little bit too tanky. So Miracle is actually the one in trouble because GH is going to come in, but he's super low. But maybe they can still make the turn. He's so damn low, but Ninja Boogie just doesn't have enough damage. Finally, Ice 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 is here. Oh, and he's going to clean up so many hero kills. They're going to get all three of them. Liquid were so greedy. That was incredibly greedy. The God Strength runs out. The Wisp has absolutely nothing left in the tank. Miracle, though. I don't know if you can do that, though, uh, with the heroes that you have. It's a little bit more complicated than that as relocate. Gonna come down at bottom. Ice, ice, ice. Prances away. He's just too fast. He's actually gonna turn. He His doesn't team care. is here. Yeah, Miracle and GH are both super low, and he's got that pure damage to be able to cut him down. The sun goes out. Miracle is gonna be able to get away. And the relocate out is successful. Ninja Boogie's a bit too far as a result. Mind Control and Matumba Man turn. That seemed like an awkward... Uh, turn there from Mineski. I mean, surely they look at that situation and go, they rotated all these heroes, and we should have gotten Ice 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 out. What a win. But instead, they turn and they lose two heroes as a result. Yeah, and Ice 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 just gets double stunned by Centaurs. Grand Theft Auto. Steal it. Try to push down that tower. It's a lot of damage, too. And it's double so hard to wagon. kill. Yeah. That's usually like the timing oh, for teams. Crap, the oh, Ice 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 has already gone out of its heal. And that is so important because they try and go on it, but it's oh, just not going to be enough damage anymore. Mind Control is going to be caught by the coil. Kuro trying to run himself away, but Jabs is there. He's going to be able to get the four stacks. Tries to go for the stun. Actually gets stunned up by the Centaur's first combo stun by Miracle. He'll end up going down. 
That's support for support. Oh no! One goes down, but that's still ice, 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 half why? damage to the tower and mid. Mid tower. Mid is definitely dead. In response, goes Triple down. Triple centaurs. That is. You're not combating that. Oh no! They got the stun from my control with the relocate in. Nice silence though. That's gonna prevent the follow up stun by Ice Ice Ice. Still gonna get caught. Oh no! Body block a little bit. Ice Ice Ice. Getting away deeper than the trees. Heal, does though. have a TP, but a stun is up for mind control. That'll finish him off. So, and meanwhile in mid, they're trying to protect the wisp ball. Is successful. Mushi just frontlining right now for his team. Gale's gonna whiff. Miracle, beelining down mid. Wow, they're really gonna go for this one. But Mushi does manage to get off his ultimate first. So, it's early to mid game. It's different, right? Because yeah. last game they had this elk that couldn't really participate in fights, so you never really knew what the full strength of Liquid was going to look like. This time around, they've got this Sven that's just running at them as Mind Control should be dead here. Going to get healed up by Kuro. Double silences, but GH gives him just enough time to be able to get off the double Burrow strike. Mind Control now has the helping hand of Kuro here, though against Ice Ice Ice, a little dangerous. Miracle with a double damage, though. That's going to be pretty rough. A stun goes off. Let's see how much this God Strength is able to do. Two, oh, three lot. shot. Miracle takes one, gonna look for more here as Ninja Boogie just gets cleaned up now. Puck actually gets stunned up, they get the Monkey King ultimate, but it doesn't matter. That armor is not oh, nearly Whisk. enough against the damage of Miracle. Whisk just battling that Puck is successful. One blue orbish looking thing to another. <laughs> more successful as they cleaned up half a Mineski. So can you can you explain that a little bit deeper? Like why why is Liquid an important Roche team? What What does it give them? I think just in general, this team is a little bit more greedy than others. Okay. And so to challenge people from taking these mid-game fights that are often successful against these greedier lineups, they have to get the Aegis advantage. Because what the Aegis does is it scares teams into directly engaging 5 on 5 as Enchantress. Gonna oh, start control actually forward. got stuck on the trees. Ninja Boogie spotted him out thanks to Jabs. Jabs is going to go for the, the oh, wish in the back the line, though. Well. He is going to be able to get that four stack. Ice, Ice, Ice stunned up. Centaurs, uh, close incoming. They are going to be able to get the control, control trap here. One stun, two stun. Missed that one. Ooh. Jabs, meanwhile, does manage to finish off GH in that back line. Great play by him. I think the acknowledgement of, like, hey, this puck it's public enemy number one. I'm going to be the one who chases them down every fight. Yes, you have to, because right now the IO has gone relatively uncontested. You saw the one successful time they were able to kill Miracle. They oh, catch. Yeah, Puck they is got, they got being somebody. controlled up. At the same time, Kuro, do you have the high ground? <laughs> the camera All right. That so would have been so tilting one. if he misses <laughs> high ground uphill. So you start to farm their jungle a little bit more, and the only farm that they'll get after that is the lane creeps that you happen to shove into them. Right. So, you, so the first, like, three minutes, let's say. Yes. Aegis is all about, like, controlling the map. I'm glad you explained that to me the first oh. time, because, oh, Mushi, they're going to be able to blow him no, up here. They throw out that epicenter, but Mushi is going to be able to have enough time to get off that ultimate. But Miracle, oh, he goes straight for the puck, managed to get the blink in stun. He is going to be controlled up, turned to stone. They're going to go straight for the Monkey King. Honestly, the, the extra armor is nothing to Miracle at this point in time. With the God he Strength is going out, he this. is going to be able to get the silence, hoping for misses right now for Ninja Boogie, but it's not going to happen. 10% is not nearly enough chances. Oh, Diving he is deeper. Still going okay, for this. Miracle, you're going against... Adusa into tier four territory. Yo, and pull, back, pull, back, pull back, pull back, pull back. Miracle, what's happening? <laughs> what's going on? Why is he there? This is asserting dominance. Nobody can help you. Back to the tier four. GH through is the like tier kind threes. of in He's the area. He's got war cry though. He's good. All right, he just casually, you know, he just walks out. Three sixty turns around. <laughs> <laughs> yep. That's the that's the real objective in Dota two, to tilt the enemy. Do you think his left hand was even on the keyboard at all, or he's just grabbing I mean, his nuts and dead, just right-clicking girls? Radiant oh, whoa, the attempt! Barely whiffs on that. They know jabs that Jabs is still going to be caught though. by the coil, though. Stunned up again. Jabs going to be able to jump a little bit further. They always Whisk know what yourself away! In. Flee! Keep jumping, keep jumping. Oh, they know! Oh, they oh, got him! The stun! Hole! And then right around guess? the balls, oh, they're going to be able to find him. Super dead. And now top being pushed in. Liquid, I... I think they might just test the high ground waters here. Goes down about half HP, but he'll be okay. He's always got GH and Kuro to be able to heal him up if uh, desperate measures are required. Yeah, and Matama Man just gonna shove this out. Here as comes the he goes straight for Mushi, but a defensive force down is gonna bring him out of reach of Miracle as well as the epicenter. Oh, Moon is actually gonna be able to control one. this one, and Jabs gets off the ultimate. A great setup with a stun, but they still can't finish off Miracle. He's being healed just far too much. He turns, fights deeper into the Monkey King ultimate. He goes, gets a Night Stalker with the cleave on the Ice Ice Ice. He's gonna be able to finish off as well. Moon comes in, extra low, magic though. damage. They need to jump on a Miracle and finish him off, but he's getting healed too much. He's life stealing as well. Miracle stays 
alive and gets healthier and healthier now that the fight has played itself oh, no. out and Maneski have surely lost it. Ninja Boogie goes down to the Poison Sting as well. Liquid, they're still relatively healthy. Curl had to pop the mech and the heal for that though, but his team is in great fighting shape. They're gonna take Rax. Oh. Maneski. That's gotta be shattering. Being so close to winning game one and then having a, a lineup that you feel pretty good with in game two and just being completely shut out by Liquid so quickly.